Director Doug here once again, and we have a special guest in studio, someone that I know you're dying to meet. She's usually in the classroom at the Discovery Mountain School, but today we have our special guest, Danielle Knighty, who plays Mrs. Lee on Discovery Mountain. And uh, I'm going to kick this over to uh, Jean now, and she's going to interview along with Steve, uh, Danielle Knighty. Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks, Director Doug. Uh, Danielle, so glad that you are here for an interview. Yes, thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> You're one of our... Um, Almost original cast members, mm-hmm. I think. I'm trying to remember what season did you Second. did your character start? Season two. Producer Second Steve season. is holding up two fingers <laughs> here. He knows. <laughs> season two. So almost right from the very beginning. Well, it's exciting for our listeners to get to know the person who plays Mrs. Lee just a little bit better. <laughs> so getting off with the questions right away, what is your regular day job? Okay, so I am an entrepreneur. I am a stay-at-home mom as well as a massage therapist. I own my own business. I run out of my house. And I am an independent consultant for 31 Gifts. We do bags and thermals and totes and all kinds of fun stuff. Great for Christmas. Awesome. (laughs) Nice. And very often we get to have Benjamin with us here in the studio, Ah, your son. My assistant director. He's the assistant director. That's right. He's got to make sure that the on air (laughs) sign. That's right. In fact, he's looking through the window right now. Hey, Benjamin. Hi, Benjamin. (laughs) (laughs) He's waving back. (laughs) Yeah. Um, So, Danielle, in what ways are you the same and the opposite of Mrs. Lee, the character that you play? Um, I am the same as that I have a sister. I actually have three sisters. (laughs) Right. Um, What's really fun is my sister in Discovery Mountain, Kate Ward, is my actual sister. That's right. Um, Madam Manager is actually another of my sisters. Mm -hmm. And in the episode, the mini episode, A Grand Mistake, Mm -hmm. um, my other sister, my third sister, um, plays Lou in there. And that was her first role. We're trying to get her back in. She's a little... Yeah, it, took us a while. it took yeah. us a while to yeah. get her really in here, did. didn't it? We, we had did. to badger her for a long time. <laughs> um, so that's, you know, one of the ways I'm, I'm similar is that I do have a sister. I come from an all-sisters home. Mm-hmm. Um, I love learning, and I think as a teacher, that's something you have to do. And I, I am in the process of teaching my son, and we're doing kind of a, an official pre-K right now. We're having a ton of fun with that, but I think I am different in that. I would hate to actually be in a classroom setting with a bunch of kids day in and day out. I think that would drive me insane. (laughs) I love kids, but it's like, okay, a couple days here, a couple days there, I'm done. Like, I couldn't do it as my full-time job, and I really don't think I could stand it. (laughs) So, hopefully we have a different answer here, because... In, in multiple interviews we've had, this, there's there's one... Uh, pizza. Yes. <laughs> Is that your favorite food? No, actually, okay. it's not. It's oh, not. good. Okay. <laughs> no, it's actually quinoa. Okay. Quinoa. quinoa. Oh, okay. I love quinoa. Yeah. Um, I do... Uh, I'm gluten-free because I'm allergic to wheat. So I've had to learn how to cook without wheat, which makes pizza, like... Difficult. Uh, the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Difficult. yeah. Um, I still enjoy pizza, but no, that's not my favorite. Uh, but quinoa, I like doing savory quinoa for breakfast with like sauerkraut and avocados. Really? Ooh, and um, I've done sweet quinoa with like cranberries and coconut sh- uh, shavings. Mm-hmm. And um, I've actually tried um, a quinoa bread. Hmm. Oh. Oh, it, was, it was flatbread. It was really good. Really? And I'm like, there's just so many things. Quinoa pasta is probably the best gluten-free pasta you could possibly mm. find. I still don't like spaghetti. Gluten-free spaghetti is just nasty. Just don't even go there. But if you get like <laughs> macaroni or like some of the other penne or, you know, whatever, it's like, okay, that stuff's a lot better. But yeah, spaghetti, just don't even go there. It's not, no. <laughs> maybe maybe you can share one of your recipes with us and we can put it in oh, the show that'd notes. Oh, that would be awesome. this cool. mini yeah. yeah. We'll put it on a mini or post it on the website. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, guess where we're going to dinner tonight? Danielle's house? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Come on over, guys. Come on over. have some quinoa. That sounded delicious. <laughs> Sounds very good. Very good. Um, this is a tough question, but what is your favorite Bible verse? And it's tough probably to choose, isn't it? It's very, very difficult to choose. Um, I've had a lot of different verses over the years that have gotten me through different times in my life. But like right now... Aside from chapters, like I literally love chapters like Revelation 21 and 22, where it talks about heaven and Christ coming back and Psalms 91 about God being our refuge and Psalm 23, he's our shepherd. 
I think my verses <laughs> that I'm really <laughs> attached to right now would be Psalm 37, 3 through 4, where it says, Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. And one of the other ones is Revelation 22, 20, where it says, He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. And one of the things I love about that verse is in that chapter, Revelation 22, he says, I come quickly three times. Mm -hmm. So it's just that reminder, like, Mm -hmm. I'm coming. I'm coming quickly. Like, see, people say, he's coming soon, but, you know, it'll, it's going to be, no, he says, I'm coming quickly. When he's ready, he's going to come quickly. And that Mm -hmm. just brings me such hope. Like, we don't have to survive in this world much longer. He's coming, and it's going to be quickly. Mm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful promises. So when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Um, I wanted to be a doctor that pulled out babies. Oh. <laughs> and I was like three. <laughs> that's very specific. I was very specific. <laughs> and that's all they want to do, just that part of it. Yeah, that was it. You know, that, That's all I had in my head was, like, I just love babies. I was the youngest, okay, of four girls, and yet, like, that was something that's like, I wanted to to be involved with babies. Mm. Like, I just Mm. love them. And as I got older, I realized, like, things don't always work out in the labor and delivery room, and that scared Mm. me. And so I was like, you know what, I don't think I want to do that. Um, And then after that, I really had no clue what I wanted to do until I kind of stumbled into massage therapy, and that's where I've gone now. But, yeah, I wanted to be an OB. I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, Danielle, do you and Benjamin have any pets? We do. We have a six-year-old German shepherd. Oh. Mm. Her name is Duchess Mackenzie of Loveland. Oh, I love it. Mackenzie <laughs> for short. Very specific. Wow. <laughs> She's royalty. <Kenzie>. Yes. <laughs> uh, when I got her, I was like, she looks like a daisy, but I want something more majestic than daisy. So I was like, you're going to be Duchess. We'll just call <laughs> you Kenzie for McKenzie. short. Love yeah. it. Mm. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> boy and his dog definitely <laughs> oh yeah even Benjamin though i had the dog smiling. first but you know yeah. <laughs> yeah so what do you like to do when you have free time what's free time yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um free time i love reading that's probably one of my favorite things is, is just to learn more um uh, being a mom i feel a lot of pressure in how i raise my son and what he needs mm-hmm. to learn to become a good godly gentleman. Mm-hmm. There's, I feel like there's mm-hmm. a great lack in our society of that. And I want my son to rise up into that place. So I've been doing a lot of reading and research and relationships and maturity and, and everything that God would have us to be. Aside from that, I love going out into nature, walking, hiking, uh, camping is awesome. Um, rock climbing, my boyfriend and I try and go rock climbing quite a bit. Nice. It's fun. But, well, you live in the perfect part yes. of the world yes. to do that, yes. and being in Colorado. Colorado's not Absolutely. a bad place for that. Yeah, it's not a great. bad place. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad place in general. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Just a little con- congested population. <laughs> but a lot of nice views. Yes, oh, gorgeous yeah. views, Love especially it. of Long's Peak. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> so if Discovery Mountain were real and you could actually visit there, where do you think you'd like to visit or what would you like to do? I would probably go over to Trekkers and get a cup of chamomile tea with maple syrup because I've actually tried it and it's actually really good. <laughs> um, and then I would probably grab Mr. Simon and Natasha and Michelle and we'd go for a ride in Blue Birdie. Oh, yeah. love nice. it. <laughs> love it. You know, some of the the scenes that I've really enjoyed hearing come to life are some of the scenes where Amanda Lee and Miss Michelle and or Natasha like talk about things that I think our parents who are listening with the kids can really relate to. Yeah. And that's been really neat for me to hear how you um, ladies interpret that and bring it to life. So see, imagining you all on the plane with Mr. Simon, that makes me happy. I wish that could happen in real life. Have yes. so much fun, honestly. Photoshop. Yeah. Photoshop. Photoshop. Not the same. I know. I don't think so. (laughs) Well, Danielle, thanks for spending a little bit of time with us here in the studio so our listeners can get to know you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Well, and be sure if you are listening to this mini adventure on a podcast platform, just jump over to the website and look for that recipe because we are going to get one of Danielle's quinoa recipes to put up there for you. So as Danielle shared with us, there are some beautiful promises in scripture. Um, Psalms 37, you can trust God. I encourage you to look that up for yourself. It's Psalm 37 verses 3 and 4. And how the Bible closes in the book of Revelation. There's such hope and there's such promise that he is coming again. So look up Revelation 22 verse 20 and read that today. And I know that it will encourage you as well. So thanks for listening today. Stay connected with us. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next time.